Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video um, about a modification I make to my offshore tackle planter boards. Uh, these are invaluable when you're fishing for walleye uh, trolling and you can use them for rainbows as well I guess but uh, they're really not big enough for that. They have a larger size. Um, first thing I would suggest is getting these snap-on front clips. If you can see that. These clips snap on your line, locking it in place. Um, absolutely amazing because without that, these boards can pop off, especially if you get a larger walleye. The other thing uh, I like to do is to upgrade the, the spring. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the spring on this is much larger and much stronger than the standard spring that comes with the offshore planer board. The reason I do that is uh, the springs that come with the offshore planer boards are, let's be honest, they're too weak. Um, so what happens is your flags kind of run down like that all the time and any anything really pulls them down. Now, having a stronger spring, yes, may make you miss some subtle fish strikes. If it just moves like that and you have a little tiny fish on there or a, a white perch or a white bass, but for the most part, I'm checking my lines all the time anyway. So these springs, um, and I'll put a, uh, a picture of the package I buy at Lowe's. And what these are is uh, small door springs. Um, really a great upgrade. <laughs> a package of two is like $1.30 uh, rather than buying the kits from uh, Offshore. And uh, the springs that come from Offshore, uh, like I said, they're just not strong enough. So um, that's a little tip for you. I'll leave a uh, picture and I'll try and find a link and put it in the description of what springs to buy, but these springs on my flags bent a little bit, but these, these springs really work out great and they're cheap to replace. So other than that, I'll see you on the lake.